your mind go I wonder where it takes you I know when I'm much alive find you puzzling you find me every time when I'm about to let go pull me back in stop Hello everyone, my name is Kinan and I am the to have you on board today for a flight with Air China. Uh, last time I did uh, some this kind of video, it was in French. I wanted to try it in English. I'm not really confident in how I speak, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm really happy to have you on board. This flight will be from um, Lhasa, Lhasa, I don't know how you pronounce it, Zulu Uniform Lima Sierra to change the airport uh, Zulu Uniform, Uniform, Uniform with an alternate of Zulu Uniform Charlie Kilo it's a funny alternate because the visibility is known there um, however the conditions at Zulu Uniform, Uniform, Uniform are quite amazing so I mean for status mind but the winds are calm we shouldn't have to divert uh, as you can hear there is a lot of wind we are quite high at this airport, 11,000 feet. So this will <laughs> must be a Tuga takeoff. Uh, and I will do the, as you say, the weight and balance, the flight plan, and get back to you for the pushback. Let's go. Alrighty, now that the flight planning is done, I will make a simple explanation. But first, the weight and balance. Uh, where is it? All right, six point four tons of fuel. <laughs> Checked. Uh, yeah, six point four tons of fuel for uh, total block time. So, flight block time is one hour and forty one minutes. Uh, fuel. We have a possibility of extra, but we won't need it. Uh, one hundred and thirty six passengers. So. Be aware, uh, I have only 400 kilos of uh, of cargo, but it makes a distinction between passenger cargoes, so luggage, and uh, actual cargo. Okay, now that this is done, as you will see, uh, we will fly into the sunset. Uh, the flight, the departure is quite tricky since we have mountains all around and we are at a really high altitude. I will try to make a simple explanation. Let me get the chart. So on takeoff, we are on the. I'm going to the cockpit. Uh, we are on the Lima X Ray Alpha VOR. Uh, we will use the DME for direction. Even though I added some um, some fixes with the coordinates, uh, as you can see. So basically. Runway ding to distance of 7.4 DME, then return left 254 to a distance of 10.3 DME. Then it's a right turn. We will um, we can keep visual on the river that goes that flows. There will be mountains uh, mountains on the right that we need to fly around, and depending on our altitude, so. If we cross 4,500 meters, so something like 40, uh, so let me check that real quick. Yep, uh, 14,800 feet. Uh, we can go directly to the VOR, but if we don't have this attitude, we go a little longer on the uh, 089 track for the VOR, and then it's on course to uh, Chengdu. So I guess it's okay for us to start pushing back now. So yeah, uh, runway two seven right taxi. Uh, 
Actually, I guess we tax on the runway since there are a military apron in here and the taxiway seems to be a bit too small for us. I don't feel an operation on this airport, but this is what we'll do for today. Weather is... Where can I check it? Uh, Head-up display? Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of wind. Uh, that's why we held them so clear. Mm, I'm a bit lost. So yeah, the flight uh, cruise altitude will be, um, I believe, uh, 1100 and, uh, and 300, uh, no, what do you say? 11,300 meters. And uh, that translates to 37,100 feet. So I guess we can already put that in the autopilot. Mm -hmm. mm. It's quite a high cruise altitude. So yeah, for the one wondering why why we speak in meters, it's because we are in China. I believe Russia uses uh, meters too. No, meters or kilometers per hour. I don't know, I don't remember. But we can go. Seat belts on. APU is on and running. And we can start our push. Nose to the left. Nose to, nose to the... Well, uh, east, I guess, yeah, east. Starting number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the taxi are way too narrow. I will try to show the the departure chart. I don't know if I managed to do it, but it will be very interesting to have them as a pop-up. Nose to the west. Engine 1 is good. Uh, engine 2 is good. Let's go with number one. Stop pushback. So I don't use the cockpit, uh, virtual cockpit one, because uh, I mean this one. They are way too low on the uh, on the windshield, so you can you can see below your aircraft, which is really really uh, not good. <laughs> what do you say? It? Uh, I mean, it's hard to see the, the outside, you have to use, I don't know, the external camera or something. Okay, uh, I guess this will be a flaps 2 takeoff. Flaps 2 takeoff. I'll check that. Infinite flight assistant, I need your help. No, I guess uh, it doesn't take into account. Flaps 2. Sorry. It doesn't take into account the altitude in, in flight assistance. So we'll go flaps to uh, 133 knots for the V2. So we'll go 143 for the speed, uh, as you said. Yeah, for the climb speed. And I guess we are ready to go. So taxi to seven right. Lhasa Unicom, Air China 4404, taxiing to runway 27 right. So the flight is done, is made by with uh, FE-13 in real life. We don't have this delivery in uh, Infinite Flight yet, the Air China on the FE-30. I hope it comes. So, um, yeah, 319 for the flight. Like we've been talking, but feels like I've been gone. Haven't we been here before? It sounds like you're just talking, but I still want you even more, even more, even more. After all the talking, even more, even more. Even more. 
Okay, ready for departure. I did not announce. It's more than enough. Departing to the west. Lhasa Unicom, Air China 4404, oh, taking off runway night. 27 right, departing west. So, uh, I did myself a little recap, so I don't forget the departure. No failures in the flight simulator yet, so should be fine. Runway 27 right. It's the good runway. On runway 27 right. Okay. Break set. Power coming up 50%. Going up to you. Up. Uh, Eighty knots checked. All things nominal now. Okay, winds no gusting for the time. B one. Rotate. Rotate. A little bit of rudder. Positive rate. Degrees up. Gear up. Gear up. Um. Okay. Heading uh, one. Uh, yeah, two six nine. Sorry. Okay, seems to be some no overcorrection. So right, you can go check the phone. Uh, one four three knots. Yeah. Checking the DME at seven point four. We will do a left turn. To You can see the river that you can basically follow the river. Okay, 2000 feet, 2500 above ground. Let's speed up, power back. We can turn left. Two five four. Up. All right, a bit more to the left. Okay, let's speed up a bit. So we will be able to cut before the just above the mountain, we exceeded uh, 14,800 feet. Now let's start with our right turn, flaps, flaps one. one. Okay, the winds are lifting me up, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm pushing the, up the aircraft down, but it's not enough. Let's keep a visual, we can turn a bit tighter. Flaps up. Flaps up. Okay, I, I think it's the um, what do you call them? Uh, rage winds. Rage winds. I don't remember the name, but the winds uh, blowing to the mountain and then lifting you up. It's pretty well simulated, I think, since the the winds rose a bit when we got near to the mountain. Uh, the river, we're a bit far, so it's a steeper turn. Oh, the light switched off. They were switched uh, on when I taxied. Oh, and a little correction, we are flying uh, with the sunset behind us. So, yeah. Uh, still climbing. 
turning the speed is good I guess to 20 knots so far so good we'll soon arrive I can set nav1 as our source and uh, lower the turn angle degrees sorry it's a bit tricky to get right on the spot I mean look at this departure it's amazing the sight soon reaching 20,000 feet And we can put the autopilot on, LNAV first. Oh, what did I do? Autopilot, LNAV, cruise altitude and speed. Uh, I'll wait until we are established on the... Oh, guess we kind of crossed it. <laughs> I wanted to get established but the autopilot can't follow. We are a bit too fast. Anyways, it's not that much of a problem. We'll just go to continue on the LNAV then. So now source GPS. We can get some speed. Speeding up uh, 292. Up to 92. Landing lights off. Okay, slowing up slowly but surely. Okay, we have track to the VOR now. Arc mode. And speed is alright. Let's uh, resume our climb. Now we can join the site. Nice. I believe the Air China F319 is the only one with chocolates. But I didn't check that much, so. Okay, we can climb a bit more. To Zedang, direct. I believe most of the. The weapons are direct. So cool. We are established on our climb, and uh, I'll get back to you on cruise. To uh, or maybe not. We'll see. Maybe on cruise. No, enjoy the sight. Cause usually I cut them loose. I cut them loose. I cut them loose. Cause usually I cut them loose. I cut them loose. I cut them loose. Cause usually I cut them loose. I cut them loose. I cut them loose. Cause usually I cut them loose. I so I didn't plan to <laughs> get back on the recording but look at this we hit some kind of uh, just rim uh, on our climb and for like a minute or two I couldn't keep up with the airspeed increase I uh, know the airspeed uh, no the what is it actually the ground speed yeah so my engines were at 100 percent but look at this airspeed man it's amazing so yeah i had to stop the climb just to uh let the engines cool down <laughs> it's crazy the turbulences are back for a time they weren't active there there were a problem with the updates but no but just look 102 knots in the back. Amazing. I guess we can climb a bit faster. Anyways, <laughs> enjoy the view again.
Okay, we arrived at our cruise altitude. The winds are still uh, really high, but the turbulence is kind of stopped. So we can uh, remove the seatbelt, the fasten seatbelt sign. We have uh, an estimated time to arrival. Uh, let me check it. Elapsed time to destination, one hour of flight. As you can see, I think we chose the right time to take off. The actual flight uh, that is wrong with the uh, A330 departed soon before me. I mean, I found it on flight radar and I just jumped to it. And uh, yeah. For the time being, we have no clouds. There is a layer uh, that I saw on uh, Simbrief from the ground to 33,000, uh, not the ground, but the, the ceiling of the layer is to 33,000 feet, so if one day we get these clouds, it will be interesting. Cruise speed, Mach 0 0.78, uh, sun is still up, and yeah, there's no Nothing much to do for the time being, except I guess prepare the approach, which I will do in a, in a few. So the weather there is still the same, I think. Uh, oh, it's in meter per second, so I have no idea. <laughs> okay, five knots. Okay, how is it? It says 5 meters per second in one side and not in the other. Uh, broken layer 4000 feet. Uh, so I guess maybe the fog will start at 4000 feet. I don't know how it's, um, it's calculated. No at least since the region is not active. Uh, it will be nice for us to take any runway really. I guess we, to, we take the zero two right. I'll check further when programming the approach. What was planned by Simbrief. So yeah. Oh my God! I can't. I can't. I can't stop commenting on this view. Now it's far better than the Alps, and I'm a huge Alps fan. And but no, nothing can beat that. Maybe the Himalayas. The they are spiky too, but this is another level. Look at the trim is a bit annoying. Should be good now. And yeah. See you when we start programming the approach. that the night has fallen and the moon is shining its light on this region of China. I think it's time to speak about the approach. So uh, it will be a uh, CZH Chengdu uh, 9 Juliet approach. On the charts I can only see the 9 whiskey which changed the waypoints around the same. But it's, it's the, it's the the rest is the same. 
basically we have some restriction we have two at or above and uh, in here we need to be at 200 knots um, it will be the ILS runway 2 right Yankee LSM Yankee uh, let me check I don't think it's uh, no, it's less than key, all right. Uh, what do I need to say? The, the minimum is, is at one, on 1,881 feet with one pass. Uh, if I can't see the minimum with the uh, APPR or landing, uh, auto land. Um, the missed approach. It's basically, I'm reading as I'm telling you. So the missile approach climbed to 2140 feet, then turn right to reach BHS VOR, BHS in here, at 5910 or above, and contact ATC, max speed 205 knots. Okay. Initial approach maximum. Uh, no, it's general information. Initial approach is uh, 185 knots. So we need to come in really slow for the ILS. I can set our nav. So nav one. And for this one, it will be a hold, I guess. No, it's contact ATC. Since ATC is not uh, available. We'll basically do an approach again, this time right hand pattern. Uh, no, yeah, approach. For two right, yank it again. Up, this time from the other side. Okay. That everything is right for me. I. As you can see, our descent will start in 11 minutes. We have 170 knots downwind, which is amazing. I don't want to do the, the other way. <laughs> and yep, 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 yep. I think it's all good, and uh, I can see you on on final. Or maybe before, I don't know yet. I'm trying to see if I didn't forget something, but doesn't seem so. It's a bit. Oh, okay. I need to check turbulence is the picked up again. But I think it's good enough. Anyways, it's night, so I can put this in the sun. All right, see you on final. We are now on the localizer. Um, the glide slope will soon be reached. Flaps to speed 285. We can start to slow down and drop flaps 3. Flaps 3. So on the glide slope now, slowing down 175. Spoilers can be armed. Contact ATC. Chengdu Shuangliu Unicom Air China 4404 is nine nautical miles okay. to the south Slow west down. at 3,960 knots. Inbound for landing. We'll make straight in for runway to right. Winds. Um, wind winds are in check. So we have a lot of headwinds, that's good for slowing down. 
0505 not, false touch is mine, no guessing. Yep. Flaps full. Flaps full. Flaps full, flaps full. Uh, I will keep the autopilot on for this approach. Okay. Speed down 150 knots. Gears coming down. Gear down. Four musical miles away. One thousand. What One thousand AGL. Speed down one forty knots. You can trim it up a bit. Approaching runway O2 right. Check. That's a good runway. We will disconnect at minimum. We can call final. It's alright. Chengdu Shuangliu Unicom Air China 4404 is on final runway to right. Winds kind. 500 400 400 Minimum at 200 300 mm -hmm. Two. Approaching minimums Hundred to go Minimums on the lock anymore. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard. You got five 10. degrees. No need to. Landing so. spoilers extended. All right. Reverses. So. I should have disconnected earlier. I forgot about the the fact that maybe there were turbulences. I didn't see that. I get a bit more to the left on final, but it's all right. Manual braking. 16 knots reverse out. And let's exit in here. High speed exit. Mm, I don't have the ground charts showing actually and it's clear of one way Chengdu Shuangliu Unicom Air China 4404 is clear of all runways we will take the inner taxiway flaps coming out flaps up, spoilers retracted clean, MP1 And we are good to go. It was a nice flight. I haven't flown all week because of school, so yeah, feels nice. I hope you enjoyed uh, the route. So we are land we landed into the night. Maybe it's not the best setting, but uh, it's nice to have uh, the um, the red mountains on. Um, on takeoff and departure, uh, we we'll turn left in here. And um, well, uh, I wish you the best and have a good day.